Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today's Photoshop Elements quick tip of the day is how to create a vignette. Now one of the things that we like to do is we like to put a little vignette especially on portraits. Now I took this picture at the Savannah Bri River Bridge Run and I added a little bit of a vignette to it. So let's go ahead and turn it off and show you what the original picture looked like. And let me go ahead and delete this layer right here so I can show you how I did this. Now the very first thing that you should do when you are creating the vignette is to go ahead and add a layer by using the little dog ear icon in your layers palette. So go ahead and click where it says create a new layer there. That will create a, a transparent layer right there. Okay the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use our elliptical marquee tool and the trick with the elliptical marquee tool is to center it out and make the size of the ellipse that you want and then we can always move the marching ants around after you've done it. So let's go ahead and hold the option or alt key, put this in the center and then just start dragging outside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it about the size that I want it. It doesn't matter if it's centered and it doesn't matter if I have it exactly where I want it because I can always move it later. So once I have the size that I want right there, I can go ahead and use the arrow keys to move it or I could put my cursor in the center of this and drag it around. As long as it's on a transparent layer, you can do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Now I'm going to show you a quick keyboard shortcut, and that is Command-Shift-I. And what that does is that this selects everything on the outside of the marching ants. Now you can do this in your menu by going Select Inverse, but I'm going to show you the Command or Control-Shift-I, and it selects everything on the outside. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to Edit, I'm going to fill our selection with black right there. It's one of the options, and I'm going to select OK. Now it's filling this on a separate layer, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the marching ants by hitting Command D. Now to get that nice vignette, you go to Filter and our infamous Gaussian Blur. And then you're going to make sure that the preview is checked, and then just slide it to the left or right, depending upon how much of a feather that you want. Now I kind of like this feather right about there. So I'm going to select OK. Now for some of you, this is a great one for portraits and everything, having a nice quick vignette. But maybe you just want to have a very subtle vignette. You can dial down the opacity now by just kind of going like this. That's kind of a nice one right there. Or maybe even a little bit more. So you can play around with that. So this is your quick tip for the day. This is Chucky. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a thumbs up and suggest me to your friends. Cheers!